Hi everyone, welcome to e-learning trainer channel. Zoom is a platform which enables you to organize online meetings. These meetings can be one on one and group meetings too. To organize a meeting, you can use different devices including your laptop, desktop and you can use your mobile as well. We have divided Zoom meetings into multiple lectures so you can understand well. Please subscribe our channel so you can receive interesting and short videos. So let's take a start. In lesson 1, we will discuss and compare about paid and free version of Zoom. We will follow the steps how to sign up in Zoom. To continue, open the website zoom.us. Before sign up, we will discuss about the plans and pricing. On top left side, click on plans and pricing. You can have four version of Zoom. Basic, Pro, Business and Enterprise. As you know, the basic version always have the limitations and Pro and Premium versions always have unlimited features. But in Zoom platform, in free version, you can have enough features to organize online meetings for free. Once you sign up for free, you can have up to 100 participants as a host and you can organize unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings but in group meetings there is 40 minutes limitation you can have unlimited number of meetings you can have a ticket support video conferencing features web conferencing features group collaboration features and security in video conferencing features you can have 80 quality videos and voice active speaker view, full screen and gallery view, simultaneous screen sharing, virtual background and waiting room. Virtual background is one of the best feature which can make your videos interesting. In web conferencing features, you can have desktop and application sharing, personal room or meeting ID, instant or scheduled meetings, and one interesting feature that is mp4 local recording it means you can record all of your lecture on the local system but in paid version you can make recordings online for zoom server you can do private and group chat and you can make host controls raise hand is another good feature for example one of your students want to ask the question so they just need to click on that raise hand options and you can find out which student want to ask the question. Another interesting feature is group collaboration features. In this option, you can break out rooms. We will discuss in coming lectures in detail what does it mean. And uh, it can support all the platforms that is Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS and Android. So no worries whatever the device you have or whatever the platform you're using, you can use Zoom. Group messaging and presence, screen share and iPad, iPhone application sharing is also available. Whiteboard and multi-share screens all these features you can use in free version if you are interested to join a meeting hosted by someone else you can join a meeting without sign up for this on a top header you need to click on a join meeting and you can add meeting ID which you receive to join the meeting and then click on join and you will be in the meeting but if you are interested to host a meeting then you need to sign up 
on right side click on sign up and it's free it will ask you for some credential go ahead with your birth date and click on continue it will ask you for the sign up email address go ahead with any of your email address and click on sign up you will receive one email authentication code in your email open your email and click the confirmation link in that email to begin using zoom the next option are you signing up on behalf of a school no because I am signing up as a free version so click on no and click on continue welcome to zoom it will ask you to enter the name and password you can go ahead with strong password or you can use your own but there is a policy password policy will ask you at least eight characters one letter one number and include both uppercase and lowercase characters once you done click on continue turning green means you followed the password policy and here all sets you can invite your colleagues to join zoom and they can create their private accounts just enter their email address and click on I am not a robot. To follow the capture privacy terms, you need to select the pictures like here crosswalk to verify that I am not a robot. Or you can skip the step. Start your test meeting, your personal meeting URL and uh, you can start your meeting now it means you can start instantly your meetings or you can copy your url and you can share with your colleagues to join the meeting on this page either you can start meeting now or you can click on go to my account and once you're done you can have all the options of your profile and you can make adjustment for your profile for your webinars recording settings everything you can do in this section we will discuss in detail how to schedule a meeting in coming lesson so keep in touch and subscribe our channel thanks for watching